Dear brothers and sisters, greetings in the name of St. Vincent Palotti. The Palotti Institute at Mysuru wishes you a happy 226th birthday of our founder St. Vincent Palotti that falls on 21st April. This occasion gives us the possibility to have a glance at Palotti's family background, his birth and his childhood. The ancestry of Vincent Palotti can be traced back to the middle of the 16th century. They were residents in the village of San Giorgio, which is part of the municipality of Cascia, in the Umbria region of Italy. Palotti's ancestors were agriculturists and owned their own land. The Umbrian peasants were experts not only in tilling of their land, but also in the preservation of food. Tracing a short history of Vincent Palotti, his father, Peter Paul Melchiore Palotti, was born on 20 March 1755 as the second child in the family of Loreto Palotti and Catherine Calori in San Giorgio. Peter Paul Palotti had a sister called Anna and a brother Luigi. The untimely death of Loreto Palotti, who died when his two children were very young and their third child, Luigi, was in expectation, impoverished the family of Palotti. It was a general practice among the rural dwellers living to migrate to the cities during the months of winter when cultivation was impossible to engage themselves in small works and to earn their living. It is to this end that at the end of October 1770, Peter Paul Palotti at the age of 16 left his native village and with his brother Luigi went to earn his living in Rome. Peter Paul Palotti began to work as a helper in one of the shops and also was in charge of preserving and salting cheese. Gradually, Peter Paul Palotti grew in wealth from being in partnership with Bernardino Graziosi in managing his shop to the ownership of three grocery shops in Rome. His brother Luigi similarly got settled in Frascati a few miles away from the city of Rome. The ancestry of Mary Magdalena di Rosi, Vincent Palotti's mother, can be traced back to the same Umbrian village, whose parents got settled in a little island of the river Tiber in Rome. She was born on 10 August 1765 as the second child out of the eight children in the family of Joseph de Rosi and Cecilia Coppi. Madalena de Rosi was a pious person even as a young girl. By the age of 12, she had mastered the catechism so well that she was able to instruct other little girls. Madalena's mother died when she was 19 years old, leaving behind a big family. On 18 July 1790, Peter Paul Palotti married Mary Madalena de Rosi in the chapel of St. Albert belonging to the parish of St. Martin in Rome. After the marriage, Peter Paul Palotti and his wife rented an apartment which belonged to a Teutonic college at number 130 via Pellegrino, Rome. The first child, Loreto, was born on 23rd April 1791, who survived only for few months. On 21st April 1795, the third male child was born among 10 children and on the next day he was baptized with three names, Vincent, Luigi, Francis. It was Francis Baldicioni, the assistant parish priest of St. Lawrence Parish in Damaso, Rome, who baptized 
Vincent Palotti. Among the 10 children, only four lived to adulthood and others died as youngsters. Vincent was blessed with pious and holy parents. Peter Paul Palotti would attend Holy Mass every morning before he began his daily activities. While returning home in the evening, he made it a habit to spend some time before the Blessed Sacrament. Vincent admired the fullness of virtues and love of God in his father. Vincent's mother, Madalena, was equally a religious-minded person and excelled in practicing piety. She was very attentive in taking care of domestic matters. She brought up her children in an atmosphere of reverence and holiness. Vincent was very devoted to his mother and praised her as the bride of the Blessed Sacrament and as a woman always living in the presence of Jesus and very compassionate towards the poor. Right from the beginning of his boyhood days, Vincent used to note the sympathy and charity which his parents showed towards the poor and the unfortunate. Their exemplary life made a deep impression on his tender mind. As a young boy, Vincent witnessed revolutions and religious revivals. Historians call this period the age of democratic revolution. The revolutionary movements which originated during the French Revolution of 1789 caused a series of revolts and revolutions in Rome. Vincent experienced the consequences of the French occupation of Rome by Napoleon's army and subsequent arrests of Pope Pius VI and the religious persecution. Vincent attended elementary school near Via dei Capellari and later he studied at the public school of the Piaris Fathers at San Pantaleo. He continued his education at the Roman College. His confessor, Father Bernardino Fazzini, played a crucial role in helping Vincent to respond to God's invitation and to lead a holy life. Along with Vincent Palotti, we gratefully acknowledge the crucial role played by parents, teachers, and confessors in molding our minds to follow Christ and His mission in the world. Thank you. God bless you.